What up, what up? We are back with the son-in-law silver screen breakdowns. I'm Alex. Hey, I'm Bo Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's get it. Yeah, and last time on Silver Screen Breakdowns. Rebecca goes to college in California. She hates it until Polly Shore, the weasel man himself, Crawl, introduces her to everything that Southern California has to offer. She changes her wardrobe. She changes her hair. She gets a tattoo. And she starts wheezing that California juice. That's for sure. She's loving California way more than South Dakota. She probably had way more fun in these two or three weeks of hanging out with Polly Shore than she's had in a really long time in South Dakota. You know what's crazy? He's just like super duper positive, right? Like his character. Yeah. Like it just, nothing ever seems like it'll be bad. You know what I mean? Right. Because, you know, he gets into a bunch of shit coming up here. <laughs> Yeah, and who knows what the, you know, what kind of negative, like, aspects happen in his actual life. Doesn't seem like it's too much. He's living life. Carefree still in college. Parents are probably paying for him to go to college. Been there six years. Yep. And now his plans fall through. Um, he does say that his his mom, Sadie, she's on her fourth marriage or whatever, and she's a pit boss in Vegas. And he's supposed to go back there for Thanksgiving. Get shot down, though, I guess. Apparently, plans fell through. So he's going to stay and uh, and run it solo, is what he says. Oh, yeah. shit. Kinda, it's kind of parallel to his real life. Maybe, right? Well, because, well, like, his mom was, like, the comedy store mm -hmm. owner, and he grew up at the store, kind of didn't really have any friends that were his age because he's just running, you know what I mean? Being babysitted by all these comedians, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was, it was kind, of, kind of part of the backstory, too, right? Mom's a pit boss, always working, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so she just feels sorry for him and says, you know what? You're coming with me. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, you know she's balling, too. Like, don't even try. I'll pay for your ticket. Don't even just, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. They got money. And, uh, yeah, because, like, it's, <laughs> he starts showing her the hungry man, like, Thanksgiving, like, <laughs> oh, like meals. And she's feeling hella sorry for him. <laughs> she's like, wow, I've never eaten one of these in my whole life. Right, she's like, we have actual turkeys on our farm. <laughs> no, but you, and and like, okay, I guess we can can we skip to when another uh, when they're we're getting off the plane because this is weird yep. too. I'm like, so I mean, I guess it is a small because like, I can't can now to think about it. There's small airports like that, but I'm like, just right there on the on the runway, like just their parents are just right there. You know, what I mean? <laughs> just like, yeah. See, that part's great. Well, you know what's crazy is before 9 11, you. You, there was no security checks like there was now. Anybody used to just be used to like be able to meet people right off the gate. I mean, you still went through a security check, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember. Well, you know what I mean. Like there, there wasn't like a point of no return like there is now. Like now, you can't go through. You can't go through the area to go to the gates unless you have a ticket. You know what's crazy is um, I don't I don't remember flying. I don't really have a recollection of flying. Because the, the first time I flew, I was like, I was hella young. I was probably like three or something. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And then not until I was like 18. And it was already after that. So like, you know what I mean? After the whole 9-11 shit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, especially me. I don't really remember flying like before that necessarily. <laughs> but um, as far as like the getting off the, the runway or whatever, I bet that people could have waited out there back then. Um when I go to when uh, the the two times that I've been out to see BS Barbarians and uh, go do the auction draft over there, he uh, had me come in in Burbank. And okay, that's a smaller joint. It's like that where you literally get off like <laughs> in the parking like lot. Yep, just like that. There's no like connector to the building or anything. So yeah, yeah you get out outside on the runway. Yeah, that's how the one over in Stockton is. Yeah, I mean it's hell a hell a hell a small airport. You know, like super small. They got like literally like, you know, like 10 gates or whatever, you know, like not even a lot of gates. Yeah, if that, huh? Yeah. Bake said got a $15 eighth of some jealousy. There we go. Dropped off down uh, from the top shelf. Said uh, the Black Dream was an exotic strain for 30. So let me know if you need some herbal essence, homie. I like it, bro. Let's smoke right. a bowl. Let's get it. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so they're, they they get off the airplane and oh man like that what him what are you talking about him <laughs> uh, 
they couldn't even recognize her either because like she looks like a million percent different. hey buddies <laughs> what's up buddies like, is that her <laughs> they don't even know who the hell she is she comes out she's mad hollywood now oh yeah connie walter <laughs> 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 they get mad about that shit later <laughs> And it's funny, like, why does she even start oh, calling Connie and yeah. Walter? Like, I mean, not you know, like, there's never any inkling on why. Like, I guess the California people do that. I guess she's so grown, and California people do that. I guess Crawl does call his mom Sadie, huh? He did say Sadie. I remember hearing that the one time that he references his mom, Sadie Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> what a name. I love it. I bet you that was part of his prereq. Huh? He's like, listen up. I read the script and uh, I'm going to change his name to Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's such a savage, though, when he gets there. Like, um, the Warners, the family I never had. And uh, he's super hyped when they're in the yeah, truck, yeah. riding in the truck, <laughs> singing the Green Acres and everything. He's hella hyped. <laughs> That's funny. And see, like, that's what's crazy is, like, for a lot of Californians to go to South Dakota, maybe you wouldn't like that because, like, everything that he's used to is a way faster style of life, a lot more things going on. and But he digs it, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? He's, like, all about, like, okay, I'm, you know what I mean? I want to. <laughs> Wait, you guys have chickens here? Yeah, like he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's all about it, man. Right? He ain't, you know what I mean? He ain't never seen nothing but that dorm, probably. And yeah. He probably read. He he he's he's seemingly well read too. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. But he just never really went anywhere outside of California. I'm sure. Yeah, but he's an idiot though with the chickens. You guys have chickens here? Original recipe or extra crispy? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when he meets Theo for the first time. He's gone looking at the chickens and then. Oh, the, like, oh yeah, the yeah. He's the guy that has the, he has the drugs. <laughs> He got the drugs on deck. Yeah, he's the the farm hand. Is that's all that I think of him? And, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, he's a farm hand. <laughs> yeah, pretty much all that he's uh, all that he's doing. And uh, yeah, he uh, he stops crawl from going into the what's it called? Um, into the into the cage with the big bull or whatever. He sees the chickens. He doesn't see the bull and just about to open it. He's like, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He's like, come on, man. Chickens, gobble, gobble. And he's like, no, bull. <laughs> they see the bull with the fucking horn, like right on things. Like, oh, you saved me. And he starts hugging them. <laughs> he doesn't so like weird. that. Yeah, he doesn't so like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hugging me. <laughs> like, I just wanted to say thank you, bro. <laughs> Like, my name's Theo. Nice to meet you, bro. And starts, like, squeezing you here every fucking <laughs> crackle in his hand, every bone. Yeah. <laughs> what you say? He's up off the steroids. The juice will make the jewels turned into sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, because that guy would have steroids on deck, too. Hell yeah, man. He's horse kind, dude. It's real, <laughs> it's real horse tranquilizers on. He had it all. The real ones, not the bullshit ones. <laughs> uh, and let's see. We'll make we'll mix in a fantasy football question here. And uh, what up, Phils? He said Puka Lave Ridley. Yeah, the, uh, this is fantasy football, but you see, we're doing like you see the title, son in law movie review. We're doing movie review, right? Uh for this show. And I'm probably going Ridley. Uh, if only we knew Pook if uh, Cup was playing, because then I, I I do like the that idea. Is to play. Uh, I'm, uh, damn. Yeah, it's Ridley slightly for me. Zay Jones is playing, so I do like yeah. that. He take he, he he helps it out. Bake says, does he use any pot references in here? I don't think so. I mean, there, there's a lot. Of, I mean, there's more sexual innuendos, you know, than anything like in here. And just a lot, of, a lot of boner references. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And nug references, you know. Yeah, balls. Of, he, he, just, he just referred to his ball. Yeah, it's like, yeah, titties are cones and fucking the ball. What is it? Uh, what do you say? What did he, he just refer to balls as? The, uh, the sun dried tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you get it's funny because uh, you kind of. 
you learn a little bit more about all the characters now, like um, w because of Crawl's interactions with them. So like now you go meet the brother, <laughs> and like Crawl's cool man. He comes in with a sandwich. I made a sandwich. I made you a sandwich, bro. And he's like, no thanks, I'll pass, you asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. What a dickhead. And then there's, you look around the room too. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's obvious they're that that motherfucker's. Uh, this room's fat, man. Like they're living large. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And uh he's he's got a that, kid too. Got a computer. Got, yeah, he's got yep. the computer and he goes over to start messing with it, and that's when he comes in. Maybe now is a good time to tell you about the rules of my room. He's like, rules. And he's like, Yeah, rule number one, don't touch anything. He's like, What's rule number two? <laughs> There's only one rule. Don't touch anything. <laughs> He's like, and then uh, <laughs> you ever meet the tooth fairy? No, I wouldn't go to sleep tonight if I were you. <laughs> he freaks out right away. Mom, <laughs> and I got, act like a badass and Paul Shore showed him he's more of a badass. Huh? I'll put what up, Dino? With that. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's really the only that little insight there. And then, see, what do you think about the whole uh, Rebecca Travis? like situation here because i mean later in the movie Polly shore calls her out like oh you just brought me here because you knew travis was gonna do something you think that's true at this part of it um, i mean i mean when, 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 are, are, are we there yet where he, he like he's trying to propose her and she like she yeah kinda, the barn. She, she notices it and kind of curves it yeah in the or barn she yeah. kind of curves she curves it all the way yeah, yeah. She yeah, so I mean, oh, oh I'm dizzy or like whatever the hell she said. Yeah. Oh, I'm all jet lagged or something. <laughs> I think I, I think she genuinely wanted to bring him out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and I think that was just him, like having him having conflicting feelings later on because you know he's starting to, he, you know, he's starting to feel, you know, he's starting to catch feelings for her. You can tell, you know what I mean? Yeah, because they're good friends, obviously, and um. But yeah, I, I don't think that that was ever like a thing. I, I think it was Crawl's fault who got him into this whole situation. I mean, yeah, he does. I mean, we'll get to that right now. <laughs> yeah, we're we're like a scene or two away from that because we do get um, now since Crawl's a hacker. Like now, it cuts back to um, Zach. Like he's like on his computer. Damn it, damn it! I don't know what the fuck to do. Then Crawl comes over and fixes some shit. Then you get his backstory. You get all. Uh, a lot of technical um, mumbo jumbo, and that, that, that he's, he's like, "Oh shit, this guy fucking knows the shit." Yeah, who knows if any of that even like? Yeah, right. <laughs> nineteen ninety three fucking tech shit, hacker tech shit, and uh, yeah, he was like, "Oh yeah, you know, in Vegas, the cones, and you know, just working on the solo mission on the computer." <laughs> and uh, yeah, so then she starts. Uh, then what's her name? Rebecca comes in, starts breaking down everything about like how she wants to get married to him, or how he wants to marry her and was about to propose, and she cut it off. And crawls just like you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. And she's like, no, it's not that easy because like they're in a small town and there's all this pressure, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just like you know, they're. <clears throat> I bet you it's just like the way their parents were. Parents married their high school sweethearts, I'm sure, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Because when yeah, you live in a small this guy's country. clearly a scumbag, he's cheating on her, right? And yeah. then, and then you know he, uh, you know he wants to secure her because she's rich. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously Kelly Capaldi's character, she's working, so she ain't no fucking. You know yeah, I mean? like I mean, I think them even being he together, it's a class thing, right? Like, yeah, like he was probably like a football player. You see him wearing his Letterman jacket. She's like, I know what a douche. Why is this? Why are you wearing your high school Letterman jacket? Yeah. She's uh she was valedictorian. I mean, obviously the family's you know got hella dough, you know, as well. Yeah, Kelly Kapowski, she can't even get out of town uh, to get to New York because she needs to save up money. Yeah, she's kind of she's got I you know, she's just one of the fast trashy girls in town. <laughs> Always gotta have one though, gotta have one by her side. Yeah. It's funny, and then Polly Shore when he starts, uh, he's like, I, he's like, I can't, I can't hang like this, you know. I feel so out of place. He's like, I need to take your style with my style and just interweave them. <laughs> and then we get the second, um, montage. yeah. Then we get well, not not a, not second montage, but we get the second inbreeders. <laughs> oh, when they go into the store. I mean, yeah, going uh, to yeah, yeah. You see the old men right there just sitting outside 
Inbreeders. Oh, <laughs> Those are like pale as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> See? Crispy said it married their cousins, keeping it in the family. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep the bloodline pure. <laughs> we got to keep the farm in the family. <laughs> and uh but yeah, it's uh it's crawl trying on some uh clothes and then uh, he, try, he tries he on, tried the, on the ass out chap. Yeah, the assless chaps or whatever. I guess, I guess he wasn't naked hanging upside down then, right? Cuz they probably would have did like, you know, like a uh, showed his ass or something. Yeah, showed his ass from hanging upside down or something. That was yeah. so 90s. They yeah. always did that. Some for sure. Some, frontal ass shot of some dude yeah. and uh, Kelly was hot for him for sure when uh, you know she's looking at his pants and everything turns around she's like oh not bad <laughs> <laughs> she was jacking up oh yeah she was all over it and it's funny when crawl when he's like hey come on come on introduce me <laughs> <laughs> right because they don't the- think they, 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 they don't know the ruse yet I mean yeah they, they just think he's just a friend right now yeah, for sure. And then, oh man, when he when they show up at the country club, like man, his whole getup. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was all that? So fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Everyone just looking at him. He's like, hey, down home cooking people. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's eating out like right now. <laughs> I mean, shit. oh man. Yeah, like the uppity of the uppity, I'm assuming, at this little country club. And it's hilarious because, like, <laughs> Rebecca loves it. She's, like, giving him, like, every platform to, like, just be himself. And then now Zach's cool with him, so he doesn't think – I mean, he thinks he's an idiot, but he's, like, laughing at him. It's, like, yeah. hilarious to him now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's loving it. He's like, okay, now I got the wardrobe, so I look <laughs> like these folks, right? Yeah. <laughs> I bet I fit in now. Yeah, right? He wants to he wants to learn how to square dance, and he's like, oh, I wish you ran a real hoe down right here. <laughs> it's going it's, down, the weasel. Yeah, yeah he, he comes in with the big old cowboy hat on and everything. Oh, man. And I wonder why. Well, first, I wonder why Rebecca, like, wanted Crawl to fix that situation. I mean, that kind of made, like, no kind of sense because, like, what else was he going to say? Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe, maybe it's because he she just confided in him about it. Yeah. And he was like, you know, he had an answer on the spot. He was like, hey, you know, you don't have to do that shit if you don't want to. So I guess she, she, she might have just been looking – for him to like reassure that, like, hey, you know, but he was like, <laughs> we're actually engaged. You are too late, sir. <laughs> I already asked her a couple weeks ago. And she said yes. <laughs> and her brother right away, Zach, oh, this is getting good. Is <laughs> hella excited. <laughs> She's weird. Oh, I man. After about her cones. If oh, I mean, yeah, we're, we'll get to that a little later because he totally does. <laughs> and uh <laughs> see that's right when the moment he thought of it too like oh yeah yeah my so my now, now i might be able to find out some <laughs> weirdo <weird. laughs> and why paulie shore like right away after he says that gives her um yeah says that to her and, and then he goes up to the mom and the dad now might be a good time to start thinking about a bachelor party <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean I think he just after he comes up with the lies, or oh, I can have a bachelor party. You're just going full with full force with this lie. <laughs> and uh yeah, Travis is pissed. I don't know why Rebecca went after him. Like, um, I mean, obviously she didn't know that Crawl was gonna do that, and she didn't want him to get hurt, like at all. She says that, like she's consistent with that. But like, what was her going after him right there gonna help? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when he punches Polly Shore, hey bro, like I know you, I know you might want to talk about this and clocks him. <laughs> he just starts crying. Right. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he wasn't ready for it. Like that's what it is. Had he known that he needed to be in fight mode, he would he would have been ready. Yeah, he so probably took. Him. Yeah, he probably took self defense for, for like a, for like two semesters, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Made you ready for two semesters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to 520 Green who just subscribed with Prime. Let's get it. We're about to yeah. Start. And like then uh, 
Yeah, see, and then, you know, they're they're in the back of the truck, and so nobody else can hear what they're talking about, obviously. And uh, he's like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to, like, you know, just let him know? And she's like, no, 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 we can't do that now. And so, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, sometimes you dig yourself a little hole you can't get out of. You just got to commit. It's the classic, um, you know what I mean? Okay, we lied. Now we got to keep up the lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, there's a... That's crazy. There's been a bazillion movies done like that. And the other style of movie that I would say, so Who's Coming to Dinner, I think, was the first style of movie where it was like, you know, someone random being brought or, you know, boyfriend or friend or whatever being brought meet the into a situation where they're fit. Yeah, Meet the Fockers, meet the exactly. Yeah, so it's like, like this was this is definitely one of those one that ushered in, um, you know, that style of movie because we've seen this done at least a dozen times. That's since. right. Yeah, he was right. He did point that out in that little thing, that little video. Yeah, for sure. He was like, yeah, if I can meet the fuckers. Hey, he even admitted to he's like, I think Son Law's the best one out of all of them. <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> I, 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 I meet the fuckers a lot. I think, but I just, you know, I, I never really categorize them in the same thing, but I guess it is kind of like, you know, you're bringing, up, bringing somebody home for the first, or meeting everybody for the first time type of shit. But this one also kind of has like, like I guess Adam Sandler kind of took from this too a little bit down the road with the just go with it. Uh huh. Yeah. You ever seen that one? It's been a long time. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Him and Jen- Jennifer. They just keep lying and lying. She have to keep fucking keep up the lies. You know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah, and, see, and even like she even wants to, uh, you know, like right after they get home and now the mom's like trying to talk some sense into her. And what up? Sherb fam in the house. Let's smoke it up. What's happening? Mom's trying to talk some sense into her. Like we sent you off to college so you could have choices not to like shack up with the first person you meet. <laughs> And uh, they, just, they, they just don't like him at first, too. That's why. It's well, the, yeah, he's weird until it's until they all start like that. Was literally that was literally the only thing she said. Like, yeah, he's like he's weird. <laughs> that was it. He's different. That was it. They weren't ready for this California laid back, you know, tie dye like that. And I pulled Molly Wafter and he just cried. That shit. Was <laughs> 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 oh man, I forgot about that shit. That shit had to die earlier. Cause I, and when he hit him, it was like a bobblehead. Like his whole body, like you know, his feet were planted, but his whole body was just. Oh. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's one of those guys that would get diplomatic before he would get. Listen, man, Gandhi wouldn't fight, bro. <laughs> And uh, so now, you know, the mom's talking to the daughter, trying to talk some sense into her. But, you know, that's gone nowhere. And uh, and then um, Polly Shore, he just wants to whittle the wood with the grandpa. You know, like, he just can like, I now? What do you say? He said now. Yeah. Now, can I please whittle the <laughs> wood with you? <laughs> and, <laughs> that's later in the movie. But he gets like the hugest fucking <laughs> the <laughs> hugest <laughs> thing. And the grandpa's like laughing out. <laughs> that's all he does. One of those. He laughs, he's like, Listen, I, t- <laughs> I took wood shop. <laughs> what do you say? I yeah, think. he said I majored in uh, something fine wood or fine wood art or something for yeah. uh, half a semester. <laughs> he's about to get down. And uh, man, the dad is so uh, super embarrassed. One of my mom uh, on my mom's side, there's fourteen, there's seven brothers, seven sisters, and then uh, of course, when you have that many, one of them's going to be out of his mind. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. my that's my uncle Robert. If not more than one, right? Yeah, there is definitely more than one. That's 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 out of my but Uncle Robert in particular, he was always crazy, and then like drugs made him like super crazy. But like he was the type of dude that he'd just be like with like he would whittle, and like I'm talking about this. I mean, he was a tweaker too. So like <laughs> you know, what I mean, he might have been whittled off the for like half a year because it should be stupid detailed, bro. <laughs> detailed like a rate like fucking. I mean, he had a race car. Stupid! Dude. I'm like, what the fuck? It's one piece of wood. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Like that's yeah. It's, it's <laughs> and uh, so then the uh, what's the name? Walter, the dad comes out, and he's like, uh, like you know, got to give Polly Shore the whole speech. Like, how the hell do you plan on supporting my daughter? And <laughs> or no, he asked him, what What are your plans? <laughs> he said, I, 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 I could run the farm. <laughs> what do you say? He said something well, like first, that, right? well, first, it's funny. He's like, what are your plans? And he was like, oh, well, you know, I think I'm I think I'm staying in school. You know, maybe I want to do a little European, you know, trip, you know, just go study the culture, you know, drink some vino, munch on some cha-cha-cha-cha cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, no, how do you plan on supporting my daughter? He's like, oh, well, what do you do? And he's like, well, I run this farm. 
Like, well, how about I do that? How about I'll, I'll run this farm after you retire? You know what's crazy? Ironically, that was like the that was, that was he nailed it right there. If you think about it, right? I mean, small town dad, very protective of his daughter, I'm sure. And you know, what I mean, probably would want someone for his daughter. That's more I mean, like probably her. wants he probably wants Zach to take over the farm one day, right? Like that's probably like his. I don't trust Zach. He's like, Zach's weird. Zach's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and he says he's gonna yeah i'm gonna do the nine to five and he's like oh nine to five huh and he was like well we start first thing in the morning and uh I was like theo you want to show him the ropes oh yeah <laughs> wakes him up at five he wasn't ready for that enter another montage <laughs> <laughs> yep pretty much showing him at, like the wrong way to do everything the harder <laughs> way of doing it all <laughs> he was milking the cow <laughs> And that motherfucker started getting on him. Like, <laughs> pissing on, all him. Pissing on him. him. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He wasn't ready for that big. Uh, uh, he wasn't ready for the big pig uh, when he's putting the uh, the slop in the trough and all that. He lets the pig out to fuck with him. And, uh, yeah, pig just, like, runs through him. And Theo's laughing. How you like farming, city boy? <laughs> <laughs> like the funniest shit to him. <laughs> I mean, shit, you're rolling around in a bunch of shit right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and seeing, I guess the fucked up part here, like, why do you have him, he, he had him do some stuff that he shouldn't have had him do, like the tractor part. Like, that was fucked up. Like, why why have him do that? Not not even show him um, what he has to, uh, you know, how to put it in gear, reverse or whatever, and then he breaks the whole fucking, yeah. the whole fence and all that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Theo, I don't like that guy, Theo. Yeah, he's a scumbag, man. He really is. What up, Nicholas? Nicholas in the house. What up, bro? What up, Nicholas? Hey, Theo's a le- he's legit the guy that'll like date rape somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are scummy. Yep. And uh yeah, so first day, you know, really first half a day, not really going so well for them. It's funny, like they're they're really living old school. <laughs> All uh, the dinner bell and everything, calling everybody for lunch. You know what's yeah. crazy though, too, is like, man, he's not discouraged at all though. Going back to what I was saying earlier, like, he's just like this ultra like positive dude. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean? they're just like running him into the ground. And he's, he's like, all about it. this barnyard stuff's not as easy as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's like, oh, so I guess your farm days are over, huh? He's like, nope. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> Going harder. He said, just haven't found my groove yet. <laughs> and the dad's hella pissed. Your groove? Oh, I lost half my chickens and you tore down my fence. And I think your groove cost me about $1,000 today. <laughs> it's funny, too, because that's like the first time. Like, he, hey, listen, they're balling, but he ain't, but he's still cheap. You can tell. I mean, that's if it's just a thousand dollars or whatever out of nowhere for breaking the fences and all that shit. You know? I guess that's not that much. You think, man, fences is a grip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was just the nineties or something. But... Yeah, Crispy man. said, "You haven't lived until you step in a huge pile of cow shit." I hope I never live. Then, Crispy, I hope I never live. <laughs> um, you know, uh, south when you go south from San Jose, like to where, like. Uh, like Niner MMA is from like, like wow. Gilroy and, and like Morgan Hill and stuff. That's what, so they have like farm farms out there. And like, um, there's a property that, uh, uh my mom's real estate company there, they purchased it and they're flipping it. You know what I mean? So we went in there and we had to like, tear the whole farm. We had to tear this farm down. Right. Uh-huh. And like, like, um, uh, I'm talking about like, I, these, these are probably old ass sh- cow shit patties, but there was, it was like the whole ground was just little lit, lit, littered with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah it did not smell good. And then, like, it was funny. So I'm trying to think, like, okay, how are we gonna tear it down? Like, it was, we were gonna tear it down, and it had somebody come in with, you know, one of those fucking sh- scoop all the shit into a fucking dumpster or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? We'll just tie it, up. tie up one of these posts to the SUV. You know what I mean? <laughs> it tore that shit down real fast. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the stuff is awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, so, yeah, they're uh, the whole just the whole lunch or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't go the right, you know, just 
I mean, the dad starts talking shit and then crawls like, all right, fine. Like, I guess it's me. You know, I'm just going to go home because like I'm messing up everything here. And Rebecca doesn't like that. Fine. I'm going to. And then the dad says something where Rebecca says she's going to go. It's like, all right, come on, crotch. Just come back down. You know, <laughs> crotch. <laughs> but yeah, he always fucks his name up. Well, Crawl. and you know what's funny? I don't know if you, um, if you, if you, yeah, if you caught that. So the first time he calls him crotch. And uh, then Crawl corrects him. Crawl. And he's like, what kind of name is that anyways? And then the second time was when they were at the dinner at the country club. And he was like, oh, crap. And then the brother was like, Crawl. <laughs> and then when they were all at um, when they were all at the lunch right now, he called, uh, all right, all right, all right. No one's going anywhere. All right, all right, Crotch. And they're like, Crawl, they all say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Like he's not even growing on anybody yet, except the brother. But um, he's—they uh, know that they have to accept him, or Rebecca's out too. And it's one of those uh, one of those things. They, they kind of have no choice. They got to accept him. Yeah, I mean, like they—they're under the pretenses that this is about to be his future son-in-law for real. <laughs> yeah, Google gobble one of us. Google gobble one of us. <laughs> and uh, so. Um, who like Zach? I mean, this was him kind of stepping up. All right, I'll show I'll show you how to do it after lunch. I'll show you how to milk the cow. Yeah, because uh, he's had to do it before, and no one's showing him how to do anything the right way. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's, that's really cool. like first person to show him something, and that that's where it gets a little awkward, right? We were talking about this earlier when he like he shows him how to do it, and then um, he's like, "I'm bashful," you know. It's like feeling a cone for the first time. <laughs> He's like, it's not like a real tit. <laughs> <laughs> like he knows. <laughs> it's like I have my hands on some pretty freaky cones back in LA. I guess he does say LA. And uh yeah. he's like, you had your hands on my sisters. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, he did say LA right there. Yeah, he's like, Have you had your hands on my sisters? <laughs> like, man. And uh Polly right away. Yeah, he's he's like, right Don't there. talk about your sister like that. Yeah, come but, on. Man. Yeah, but but, freak, but in his mind, he's saying inbreeders. Hey. <laughs> now we know why we got some inbreeders, right? <laughs> this guy wants to know all about his sister. Hell yeah. And uh, that's when he gets his groove pretty quick. You know, we get another little montage of it. He's fixing the fence. He gets his roller skates, you know, and then he goes downhill instead of uphill while he's uh, emptying the feed yeah. or whatever for all the cows and shit. And um, <laughs> emptying the, uh, putting the sloth in, uh, in the um, in the trough for the pigs. And this time, you know, he's ready for it. Jumps on the pig, starts riding. Yeah, down I that. <laughs> See the part that I saw on like social media, the part that got clipped. He's like, you know, you get some dumb questions, you know, from people, but yeah. we love you. You know, it's like, hey, you really ride that pig in that son-in-law movie? <laughs> He's like, uh, you, you see me riding the pig? Yeah. Well, I was fucking riding the pig. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> like, I almost died for you assholes. <laughs> no motherfuckers is crazy, man. Pig, oh, hey, yeah. hey, wild boars for real. I think they're like in season all year round because they're, they're like, like hey, eat your whole hand off you, huh? Just like, yeah, they'll, they'll eat everything, bro. Out. Your whole crops, all this just so that they're just they're on site. Yeah, murk them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joe Rogan swears they're 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 tasty too. I bet they are, man. And uh yeah, then he I don't even know, I don't even know what makes him want to go. I mean, he just sees this big thing with the with cover over it. I don't even know if he knows what the hell it is necessarily, but he goes up the ladder. Oh, yeah. Then you can see it's got a wheel and, you know, he then starts looking for the fucking, uh, looking for the tape so he can get some tunes going. Like, oh, John Denver. All right. Let's see what we got here. Right. <laughs> and uh, it's funny. He hits, uh, just so he can turn on the radio, he hits the uh, the key. And then, yeah, the stick shift on that thing. I mean, it's insane. I mean, yeah, it's like this big video game. <laughs> All of a sudden, he got handles, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, listen, he fucks that field up, but it's a thing of, it's a thing of beauty, though. And seeing, I don't know how he wouldn't know that he wasn't moving. I mean, even if it is a super, like, you know, just smooth, smooth ride, you have to know that you're moving. And it's like he doesn't even know that they're moving until the 
you know, until the cover gets caught or whatever, and then the whole uh, huge yeah. tractor gets exposed or whatever it is. That's a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar machine. <laughs> Theo's <laughs> laughing. It ain't anymore. <laughs> he didn't take that thing for a spin. But this this is definitely a little part that didn't really need to be in there necessarily. Like it doesn't really do anything necessarily to the plot. Yeah, he doesn't even reference it. Like, oh, you fucked my field up. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. And uh, I mean, it's funny. You know, he's getting his, cutting some corn, cutting some corn. Can I get some butter, please? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, and then you see it right after. He was drawing his name in cursive somehow. <laughs> Thank God awesome. I'm a country boy. <laughs> he's uh, He gets a little wild, though, when he, when he sees Theo fall. He's like, Theo, I'm going to plow you. <laughs> I got that crazy-ass look in his eye and the fucking crazy <laughs> laugh and cackle. I mean, he wanted that re- he had the revenge narrative, right? Like, oh, yeah. You want to speak big on me? About to get some get back. <laughs> But, yep, he does the crawl, and he does it backwards. That, that's something that I always thought was cool. He started at the L and went backwards and made the crawl. And they're just chasing him the whole time. And they didn't have no drones back then, so, like, yeah, like a helicopter or a fucking plane or some shit going over to get those shots, you know what I mean? That's what it was. I mean, at least that's what they showed, that a plane was crossing over, and he looks down and like, what the hell? Crawl. <laughs> Wonder and I uh, wonder how he got that name crawl. <coughs> that's what he well, he said that's how he got home. Uh, oh, that's okay, how he got yeah. home freshman year. Oh, okay, he did explain it. Okay. Yeah. He was like, Yeah, what kind of name is that? Nickname. They called they gave me that because that's how I got home every day, freshman year. Maybe from the drinking. Yeah. And then see the next part. I know it's to win over the mom, and he's got to do little things to like win over people and like winning over the mom. Because, you know, she ends up being so hot and then, you know, the dad gets some action. He wins over the dad at the same time. Yeah, and, but, uh, I guess they didn't have, there was no need for to do another montage with the makeover for the mom. Right. But, like, but yeah. yeah, but it's it's funny because like, of course. Two montages a movie, like and they did three and like that, they're already taking it to the next level. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, listen, <laughs> all the montages, man. Because they could have, like, it legit could have been a pretty woman. Like, if they could have did, like, for that, they could have had a montage of pretty woman. Her trying on all the clothes and shit. Yeah. (laughs) Totally could have had it. Yeah, because then where do they go? They go to, like, a dinner or something right there, right? Like, a dinner dance thing? Yeah. Like, at the country club or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, look, I totally restored your dad's wood. (laughs) (laughs) And see, that's what's crazy that they even, you know, I mean, and I guess that's a California thing that it's so open that you. Yeah, and that is crazy because that night I remember too, because she was like, didn't she say something? She was like, oh, why? It wouldn't even matter. He's like, yo, you should put some makeup on or something, like, right? Yeah. And then, like, then you start, the the, the beds are pushed apart. And you know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) God damn. Yeah, the dad was ready to get busy. And, like, she, uh, you know, the mom, I mean, it's crazy because Crawl doesn't even know who's in there. He's in the bathroom. He goes up and hugs on her, and it's the mom. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole Oh, yeah, thing. he grabbed on her tush, huh? Well, he went and, like, hugged her pretty much. Like, maybe he grabbed on her boobs, you know, who knows. But, like, the way she was, like, bent over. And he went and just kind of hugged her and got behind her like that. And then uh, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> and then the way that he kind of makes it okay. He was like, uh, he's like, Mrs. Warner, I mean, I don't want to, you know, offend you, but you're giving me a semi right now. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, He's a savage, man, just keeping it real. Yeah, he would have took the mom down. Yeah, and she was like, you know, how about, why don't you ever wear any makeup, you know, get your outer beauty mixing with your inner beauty, you know, and and everything, and she's like, just give me five minutes if you don't like what I have to say. And then uh, (laughs) the part that I always thought was funny was um the mom's like yelling walter me and uh me and crawl will follow you in the whatever oh, yeah, car yeah, yeah. she's like ahead. i'm changing <laughs> i don't know if the dad would have been cool with that uh, you know the dad he probably hadn't he probably hadn't fornicated for at least, for 12 years at least because you know that's the how old the kid is the son yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like it's time it's been a while they've had those beds separated for a while Right. 
And uh, it's funny because the mom, when she comes in, she's looking way hotter than anybody else in there. You know, like she's actually showing skin like everybody else is dressed like super ultra, ultra conservative. And uh, the dad, uh, Walter, walks up to her. And he's like, whoa, hey. And then she's like, do you like it? And then a guy comes up right there. Hey, lady, you want to dance? And he's like, hell no. Hey. <laughs> Pulls her away. Way. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's looking at her in the in the place. All the old dudes are looking at her. Like, oh shit! Like, I think I, I think I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he got insecure real fast, huh? He's like, oh, hell shit. yeah, this is my yeah. <laughs> She's with me, <laughs> man. And I, I don't know if you caught it. You really only see it real quick. But um, what's his name? Theo. He's over there dancing with Kelly Kapowski. He's right next to her in the line dance. Like looking at her and smiling. I mean, you know, not necessarily dancing with her, but he's the one right next to her. Ready to date. Her. He's ready to date rape her, bro. That's what he's thinking. He's a predator, bro. He really? I mean, he's got the pills, man. Those I mean, are he's, those he's are a right? grimy, bro. Hell yeah. Let's go. Alex said ripping some cab driver from the sovereignty. Let's get it. Let's get it. And then you see Travis. He comes up, gets right in Crawl's face, and Crawl just falls to the ground. No, no, no. <laughs> He's like, no, get up, man. And now he wants to throw him a bachelor party, apparently. And uh, I don't know why he trusts Travis <coughs> right away, really, because he has no friends, right? That's the only reason I'm assuming. He's just naive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, 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 he tries to see the good in, in everybody. Yeah, that's for sure. And... Uh, it's funny, right after Travis talks about the, yeah, the bachelor party, <coughs> he goes up and starts talking to uh, Theo. Goes and starts talking to Kelly Kapowski. Oh. He's like, oh, you coming over after work again? It's like, oh, yeah, I'll be over. Hell yeah. She already knows. Like, that, that's where she is, right? She's the one that you call at 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, you go have some fun. Kelly, Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> the town floor. <laughs> Then, uh, you know, this is the reason why she didn't come back to Save by the Bell. Remember how they had that one, like, half a season where it was uh, Tori and Lisa only? Yeah. And uh, Jesse and Kelly weren't there? It's because Jesse went to go do Showgirls and Kelly came to do Son-in-Law. Oh, I didn't think of that. And they trying brought to get that. They're, try they're, they're done doing TV. They're trying to, you know, they're moving on to the big screen now. <laughs> and they go play, uh, you know. I mean, kind of exact opposites of what they are in uh, Saved by the Bell. I mean, she she went on to do. She still went on and did TV though, because she was in nine hundred two and zero for hell long. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it was like at that point. Yeah, that was another. That was another thing too. Total contrast from uh, the Kelly Kapowski like cheerleader, goody two shoes chick. Yeah, for sure. Scando. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one thing that's cool about Crawl is no matter where he's at, he's somehow just going to be like the life of the party or whatever. And, uh, you know, the guy who's doing the line dance, he goes to get some water or a drink or something. And then um, <laughs> then Crawl just goes up there, I want to sing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can't even think of all the lines, but the one, uh, so make her crusty. <laughs> Do the funky chicken. <laughs> then he starts doing the crowd surfing. And then he hypes the other guy up. Come on, bro. Just go for it, man. Just go for it. You can do it. <laughs> no one's paying attention. And he jumps smack right on her face. <laughs> right on his face, I mean. Then he gets up, though. He's good. He's good. And Josh said, and then Screech goes on to do the bang bus. <laughs> yeah, Screech had a very interesting life. Um, I think uh, the... Which one? The the um the movie that he had like a ghostwriter for or whatever. It's like the Saved by the Bell, like behind the scenes something, and uh, it's kind of told from his point of view. Um, <laughs> he he came back and he said that he, um the guy lied about like some certain things in there, but um yeah that that's uh, the most that we got of like the behind the scenes. And yeah, Jaws said, Ah, woo, what's up, buddies? Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, they have an amazing time at this party here. And now it's, uh, you know, they're, they're done. Everyone's going home. And uh, Walter's ready to get frisky with, uh, get, get frisky with Connie. And um, what's his name? Uh, Pappy. 
He says, "I still, we still got to talk, Junior." And then here comes Crawl and Rebecca, and uh, you know they're just super hyped about everything, and uh, they're about to kiss as well. Like they were like this close to uh, to kissing, uh, but Pappy was there, and he was like, "Don't mind me, and <laughs> nobody else does," and uh, totally cock blocked on Crawl right there, and. Uh, yeah, then we then we see we get the little cut scene to Walter scooting the two twin beds, you know, next to each other. Walter's about to get busy. And then the next morning, everyone's in a super good mood, you know, and everything. And they're about to go on like a fishing trip, you know, all this kind of stuff. Zach doesn't want to go. And so Walter says, uh, invites Crawl uh, to go, or at least because the mom, the mom says, take him. He doesn't want to take him, but the mom says, take him. And uh, he can't say no. Like, man, he just had one of the best nights of his life because of Crawl. So he's got to do whatever the mom says at this point. He's trying to get a repeat of that uh, tonight. Man, you know they you know they didn't heard that whole thing. Hell yeah. Them, 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 walls, them walls can't be thick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, she even, uh, <laughs> I mean, see, like uh, she... Rebecca, she was like, I heard you and Walter getting busy last night. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> getting the little, I mean, so, you know, like, <laughs> you wonder why Californians think they're a bunch of just inbred folk out there up in uh, South Dakota. Like, guys aren't. Uh, <laughs> they just freely steering. talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Not steering too far away from that uh, stereotype. <laughs> and uh, then you get, the, then we get the fishing trip. <laughs> it's funny crawl i mean I, i'd be just as goofy as crawl was if if nobody was helping me or anything with fishing because I, I never really went fishing like that and yeah then, but anytime even even as an adult when i went fishing i have had motherfuckers put the reel on for me and do all shit because i never really been a fisherman like that you know what i mean yeah Where i'm like yo how the fuck you like put the fucking the hook on a thing and the, you know what I mean? Nothing. Not not for me. Not for yeah, me. Either, if, uh, if I have to go hunt, be a hunter gatherer, I, I didn't even a own a fishing rod. I had to borrow one and shit. Yeah. If I if I have to go into hunter gatherer mode, I don't think I'm gonna be going. Uh, you know, trying to go fishing. We're gonna we're gonna be go going for some bigger things than that. And uh, it's funny because you get a lot of the um, the dad the dad son dynamic with yeah. uh, Happy. And uh, and Walter, because I like, guess the same kind of shit with like him and hit with uh, Walter and Zach, you know, like some of that mm -hmm. kind of shit. The dad's uh, the uh, pappy's talking shit to the dad because he's talking about, yeah, I told you that sidearm business of yours is never going to work. And he's like, well, it's just the way I like doing it, dad. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. The way he fucking casts his line. Yeah. Because he does yeah. it going sidearm instead of over the top or whatever. That's yeah. what grandpa uh pappy says is over the top and he's the one who catches the fish and he's talking shit you know after that <laughs> and then uh but then it's funny because i crawl he sees the he sees the inconsistencies as well and he was like yeah he's like man i feel sorry for you mr warner he's like i see the way your dad's always riding you and coming down on you and uh he was like, yeah, you just kind of want to do things your own way, right? And he was like, you know, it's kind of like how you like come you down on the back. Yeah. He just <laughs> and kind man. of throws it out there, hella nonchalant. He didn't like that. No, no. Because he doesn't uh, – I mean, he probably didn't like it because he knows that it's true. And he probably was like, I'm yeah. never going to be like my dad. But he's like exactly like him, just in a different way, you know, different circumstances. Yeah. Chris, we said Walter was stroking. Oh, yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> the twin bed <laughs> right next to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. But, yeah, so Crawl, Crawl sees it. He kind of called out, you know, the bullshit. And the, <laughs> the dad didn't like that. He's like, hey, well. What do you say? About, like, one of his video games or whatever? Uh, yeah. Like, and he was like. Back in the video games. Yeah, and he's like, well, well, who asked you? He got hella offended yeah, like that. <laughs> after that. And then uh, Pappy starts having like a heart. Well, he think it's a heart attack. I don't know what it ended up uh, being. Like, I think he just needed his pill or whatever. But it's funny, <laughs> like, because <laughs> Crawl, the only thing he's known, got to <laughs> gotta administer mouth to mouth. Right? <laughs> I take it. <laughs> I'm sure he took uh, some type of, some type of, course <laughs> oh yeah for sure let me let me go for a semester <laughs> it took something for half a semester what was it yeah, <laughs> yeah and he was like oh if the choice is between me dying 
or him kissing me. I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I majored in CPR for half a semester. <laughs> it's funny because it's like it's just the, the, the homophobic undertones of, of, of like the entirety of the 90s. It's it's it's, it's, it's laughable. Yeah. Because it's like it's so offensive. That stuff like that would be so offensive these days. Like, you know what I mean? And I do recommend that uh, ev- everyone who has kids, especially if they're young kids, go take a CPR class because I know those things, mm-hmm. you know, it's like a one or two hour class. Mm-hmm. It might cost you like 50 bucks or whatever. But uh, I'll tell you the couple times that I really needed it, uh, you know, and, I mean, it's not like anyone was in any kind of trouble or anything. I just felt like really secure knowing that I knew what to do. No panic. Yeah, my girl's a nurse and and uh, there's a situation of... of one of the other homegirls, like she was uh, drank, just drank hella much and like fell and hit her head and like you know what I mean. And yeah, but it's always, but you know we're Filipinos, so there's always like there's somebody the nurse, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Always a nurse around somewhere. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. So now after this, so um, they had a little bonding moment, you know, uh, Walter and and crawl because he was like, uh, you know, he kind of stops him. He's like, you know what you were gonna do for my dad back there? Like, thank you. You know, like he didn't really do anything necessarily, but just yeah. that he was going to try to save his life yeah. and that he was mm-hmm. going to put whatever skills he had to use to use. Um, yeah. yeah, he just wasn't going to let him die. That, I, I think that that's the first time I think that he took him seriously, like at all, any kind of serious. It's a cool little take on a, it's another classic story that they, they implicate in this movie that you see in a lot of movies where it's just the classic uh, case of um, two different worlds because this is like they're from two different totally, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, now he's like, oh, you're not so bad. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's hella came around. You know what I mean? He's like, man, you made my wife have sex with me. You were going to like save my save dad. My dad. <laughs> died. You, made, you made me realize that like, hey, it's, it is noticeable. I'm a shitty dad. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job hiding it. <laughs> like I thought I was. <laughs> you know oh, I mean? man. And like, like, Crawl has a little like, you know, just... I mean, conscious moment where now he doesn't want to lie to anybody anymore and even yeah. tell him, like Rebecca, like he was like, we can't like keep going on with this. And, you know, with this lie, he was like, your dad, like he actually talked to me, you know, and like all this. So like, yeah, yeah now he feels bad that he's getting a little bit of respect. He feels like he doesn't earn it. He, he hasn't earned it. But uh, that's just one of the things, though, like he is a real people person. He's super cool. And like the more you get to know him, he just like wins everybody over. It's funny because like here, here's a a guy who like always wanted to have this type of family type of vibe going, right? Yeah. And then like when he finds it, they're all like lonely people and have their own, their own issues, and he's you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of like this this fucking he kind of comes around like this angel, so to speak, change everybody's life for the better. Yeah, for sure. And because uh, he's he's just an idiot savant, right? Like I mean, it's not like he's like uh, a semester. <laughs> well, seeing because he is, he is smart in a lot of things, but yeah. you think maybe because he's weird that he's like dumb, but he's definitely got like the street smarts too. He's accent. He, uh, they, they, that's what you would call eccentric. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then so right right after he talks to her, then he's uh he's out in like the uh, just in the field in the farm or whatever, and Theo's like, "Hey, you ready to go grab a turkey for uh, Thanksgiving?" It's like, oh, what aisle are we going down? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nope, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to, uh, here, you're gonna have to take this <laughs> big old fucking butcher knife or whatever, the fucking, uh, the, uh, what the hell, the cleaver. And uh, then he starts, uh, the turkey starts chasing him and then he does his little, ow! <laughs> the, the turkey, like, I don't know. He like serenades it to sleep. And then the next scene, it cuts in. He's like, what? what? The turkey had a heart attack. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Pat McAfee just told a story like that uh, on on uh, on the show the other day. He's, okay, you know JJ Watts like a he's a man's man. He's a yeah, hunter and, all all and like McAfee grew. McAfee's dad is the same way, but you know he was kind of like you know he's doing the, he's he's kind of a city boy like at heart. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So like you know he he's, he was really into hunting and he never really when he went when he went with his dad he said he shot at one right he had it in the scope shoots at it and then he's saying he gets oh i got it and they're looking they can't find it and there's no blood or anything then when they find it 
it was dead and had a heart attack or something. Because you know? <laughs> I guess he just he shot in the general area of it. I guess I had a close and just had a heart attack. He just had a heart attack. <laughs> And that's what that was funny. I mean, then AJ Watt was like, "So you didn't hit it, then?" <laughs> <laughs> no, like he was getting on the like, "No, yeah." He couldn't stop laughing too. He's like, "Let me get this straight." So he had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and uh, yeah, it's funny. And they were like, "All right, now you got to uh, now we got to defeather." You know, like, I mean, I man, it just seems so much easier. I, I mean, I know that that that's what they got to do. Like, cause of where they are, <laughs> but man, I could, if I, if it was the choice killing the Turkey, doing literally everything or just, you know, paying whatever we pay to go pick it up and <laughs> man. Yeah. Like my, um, one of my boys, a shout out to my boy Enrique. He, he's, uh, he's, he's mostly Mexican, but he's like a quarter. His mom's half Filipino. So like, you know, when he goes to that side of the family, you know what I mean? Like on Thanksgiving, they, we got the shits called Dina Guan, right? Okay. And uh, it's it's pig's blood. It's like it's like blood stew. You know what I mean? It's okay. just fire. When I like, I I even when I found out what it was when I was a kid, it was a while. I didn't eat it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's just crazy. You're talking about like the shit in like Indiana Jones, right? I mean, it's a, it's it looks black. To be honest, like when you cook when yeah. you cook it out, it's like. But anyways, well, I mean, blood when it comes out of your body, it kind of looks black, right? Does I mean, it looks red when it gets really thin and starts drying. Yeah, but, but it's super wet, still looks dark. Yep. Uh, but we, my point is, he had this video. He had this yeah. video of them like on the farm with his uncles, just and then he 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 got the he had the privilege of doing it, shanking him in the neck. Yeah, and the pigs just screaming and just putting the blood in the little bucket thing. Like what the? I'm like, damn. See, like that puts a new twist on it. You know what I mean? Like like, like you know what I mean? Like you never think about the preparation or, that goes into the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, I'll let, I'll let someone else deal with that part of it, right? I mean, man, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know, here's the thing is, like, if, um, if I'm a hunter-gatherer and we got to do it, I'm sure I could do it, but in, we don't have to Yeah, do it's it. a different, like, like imagine, I mean, imagine the people that, are, like, grow up on farms and stuff like that, and then they move to the city, and they're like, well, you guys buy your food, like, like you guys get your chicken, and it's on, like, a fucking styrofoam, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it'd be like you know what I mean. Like it's just like they probably see a rotisserie chicken. And they're like, oh, pff, what's this little bitty goose over here or something? Yeah, and, and if you think about it too, it's like if, if you grew up on a farm and the chickens, on you, and then like you, you see the conditions of like these these commercial grown fucking you know joints with chickens. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh shit! Like you know what I mean? It's probably <laughs> it's probably way better. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know I mean? the type of shit they're eating growing up on a farm for real. You know right, mean? for sure. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, same thing. It's like uh, the difference of uh, from the farm to the know, table. A, a, a Pfizer versus like a micro brew or whatever. It's just way more love in the micro brew. Yeah, for sure. And uh, <laughs> so they're all thrown off. The, the the turkey had a heart attack. And then he goes to defeather it, just rips off one feather. <laughs> Turkey's up. Oh, yeah. man. And then he hears the honk outside. There's my ride. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh that's where we're gonna end for act two because uh the bachelor party it's really uh this is what kicks off act number three and always knew there's something a little shady about travis but crawl being the uh, kind-hearted soul that he is trusts him to throw him the bachelor party mm. yes tune in next time for act three is travis a shady fuck is he the weasel <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, tune in. We'll see you for Act 3. Peace out, everybody. This ain't a dream, we really live this shit. Don't intervene, yo, we with this shit. That's where the most high, we the most lit.